James, the brother of Jesus, plays almost no role in the earthly ministry of Jesus. Probably thought, this guy's my brother. He, he, he claims to be the son of God. I mean, what, what's up with this? I mean, I got to tell you, if my brother say. claimed to be the son of God, <laughs> I would be backing away. I mean, so I, I understand. So James is mentioned in the Gospels. You know, it'll say, and the brothers of Jesus were waiting outside also. And in a couple of places it says, you know, James, Jude, whatever. But he's not really involved. He's not an apostle. He's not one of the original 12 apostles. Uh, he's, not, he's, he's not mentioned in any meaningful context in the Gospels. It's after <coughs> Jesus' ascension that he assumes a leadership position in the Jerusalem church, as can be seen by his seeming first of all equal <coughs> role at the Jerusalem Council in Acts 15. And we will read the section where he makes, uh, he's the one that uh, makes the decision. He seemingly identified as an apostle in Galatians 1.19. Remember the criteria for being in this course is you have to have been identified as an apostle in the New Testament. I saw none of the other apostles, only James, the Lord's brother. And I realize that's a little ambiguous. Church tradition says that James wrote the book of James in the New Testament. That being, of course, uh, one of Martin Luther's favorite texts in all of the Bible. Not. <laughs> okay, let's look at the references. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't this his? Uh, isn't his mother's name Mary, and aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And a lot of people named James in the Bible. More than one named Joseph. Several named Simon. You got Simon Peter. You got Simon the Zealot, uh, and Judas. So all of these have been uh, the subject of various mis mischief uh, over the ages. Uh, but there's the list of Jesus's brothers, and as far as we know, the James the Just we're talking about, who was the leader of the early church in Jerusalem, is this person here. The brothers of Jesus joined the apostles after the ascension of Jesus. So this is important because it tells us that these people are now joining with the apostles. So, brothers, so the very earliest foundation of the church, it tells us the apostles were there except, of course, Judas. It tells us Mary, mother of Jesus, was there. It tells us the other women who were there who we can... Uh, probably Joanne uh, was there and the, the other women that we're told were following Jesus and by this point his brothers were there in this upper room so that's what connects these people with these people and that's why it's easier to associate James with being um, the head of the, the church in Jerusalem Peter says tell James and the brothers about this after being released from prison by the angel. So there we also see some, some primacy being given to James. He doesn't just say, tell the, tell the other apostles, or doesn't say the gang back in Jerusalem. He says, tell James and the brothers about this after being released uh, from prison uh, by an angel. So that assigns some primacy. James makes the final decision at the Jerusalem Council. Peter testifies, and it's probably because of Peter's testimony that the ruling goes the way it is. But the person who makes the final decision is indeed James the Just. The whole assembly became silent as they listened to Barnabas and Paul telling about the miraculous signs and wonders God had done among the Gentiles through them. When they finished, James spoke up. No, James spoke up. Um, the final decision. He basically approves of Barnabas and Paul's ministry, tells them to continue it. He, he gives something to the party who brought the charges. He said, well, we'll, we'll tell the Gentiles, uh, don't eat meat that's been given to idols. Well, was that a major problem? 
But Paul does not identify in any of his writings that a major problem in the Gentile church is they were eating meat that was given to idols. So he, he gives a few things to the opposing side so they don't feel they lost everything. But this is the key decision in the early church right here. This is the key decision. It's made by James the Just, who is the brother of Jesus. The next day, Paul and the rest of us went to see James, and all the elders were present. Once again, we have some primacy being established because they're going to see who? They're going to see James and all of the other elders. James, Peter, and John, those reputed to be pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship. We discussed this when we talked about the, uh, Peter and Paul's relationship. This looks, uh, it could be taken as sarcastic. And I have looked at numerous English translations to see if any of them had something radically different, and none of them did. So this could be you know, Paul's defensiveness showing that he's saying those reputed pillars of the church, James, Peter, and John. And this could be referring to, to one, of, one of the two Jameses who were apostles. But remember, Paul didn't. Paul hadn't wasn't part of the the earthly ministry of Jesus. He wasn't part of that group. The James that would be that we are told that Paul interacted with in in the New Testament is James the brother of Jesus, not James son of Alphaeus or James son of Zebedee. So, do we know for sure this is referring to Jesus his brother? No, we're making a, a, an educated guess. And before certain men came from uh, James, Galatians 2.12, again, it's James sending out. Festus was now dead, and Albinus was upon the road. So he assembled the Sanhedrin of judges and brought before them the brother of Jesus, who was called Christ, whose name was James and some others. Uh, and when he had uh, formed an accusation against them as breakers of the law, he delivered them to be stoned. So according to Josephus, probably writing 35 years, 40 years after Jesus' ascension. It was the head Sadducee who uh, condemns James the Just to death. His death is not mentioned in, uh, in the New Testament, of course. But according to Eusebius, he was surnamed the Just on account of his virtue. So the term James the Just is not used in the Bible, it's used in Eusebius' church history. According to Eusebius, he was the first bishop of Jerusalem. So Eusebius, very clear that he was the head of the church. He was thrown from the pinnacle of the temple and clubbed to death because the Sanhedrin was frustrated by the escape of Paul to Rome. Uh, we will talk more about this next week. Eusebius argues that James was the son of Joseph, but not necessarily the son of Mary. Uh, According to Eusebius, James was a Nazarite, and uh, Eusebius's view was that the siege and destruction of Jerusalem was a direct result of the murder of the righteous James, i.e. it was God's uh, condemnation of the Jews for that. So next week we...